Good morning, Tigers! Today is Monday, January 4th, 2021, and this is Ella with your morning announcements. I hope everyone had an amazing winter break. Let's get into what you need to know this week. Over the break, Governor Kate Brown decided that schools will now have more leeway in deciding whether or not their kids get to go back to school in person. This is amazing news for us, but we will still be going online until the end of the semester. This show will include weekly updates on what the school district is planning, so make sure you're tuning in. If you're watching the show now, you are now participating in your SEL or Social Emotional Learning lesson. Each day of the week during first period, participation in your advisory actually helps reduce depression and anxiety and improve communication and relationships. Recent studies show that Oregon students suffer an unprecedented rate of anxiety and depression among other mental health issues. The current COVID pandemic has prevented many people from seeking help that they would otherwise be able to access if they were in in in-person schooling. Here at Tiger Today, we encourage you to participate in these lessons and of course, watch our weekly show. As of December 14th, there's been a change in attendance recording. Now, parents will receive a robo-text or robo-call the afternoon that their student has missed one or more classes. To excuse the absence, Parents or guardians can call the bilingual attendance line at this number right here. Students should always check with their teachers if they know they're going to be absent, and you can be alternatively present in two ways. If you actively engage through Canvas, or if you have a phone conversation or email your teacher the day you're supposed to be absent by midnight. The alternately present designation can only be given by the school and a parent cannot call in their kid alternately present. Seniors, we want to remind you to fill out the Google form in the description of this video. The yearbook staff wants to record your voices from this unique year. Tonight at midnight is the deadline for responding to this form. Hannah will have a special announcement about it later in the show. Students, are you using Remind? Because if you aren't, I would highly recommend it. A link has been sent to your student email. If you did not get it, here are all the codes for every single grade level. If you have questions, please reach out to your school counselor. And that's all for today, Tigers. I hope everyone had an amazing break. And seniors, I hope you're getting those college applications in. I know I'm working on that right now. And uh, have an amazing rest of your day. Bye. Hi, this is Dorvian. I just want to remind everyone that yearbooks uh, should be pre-purchased by January 31st so that the yearbook staff can set the book count. Uh, If you don't order your yearbook by then, uh, you may not have a chance to get a copy later on. Books cost $60. The easiest way to purchase uh, them is through the online payment portal, but checks uh, can also be dropped on at the front desk. Be sure to have Yearbook 21 and student name in the memo line. This year's book will be a record of a year like never before. Hey Tiger and Seniors, it's Hannah. We sent you a link to a Google form with questions to record your senior quote. The answer to at least one of these questions will go beside your senior photo in the yearbook. The questions are, what's one of your goals for the future? What's the most embarrassing thing that has happened to you at school? What's one thing you won't miss about high school? What's one thing you will miss about high school? What's your most important takeaway from high school? And what's the funniest thing a teacher has ever said to you? These questions are due today, so don't delay. Click the link in our bio or find it in the bulletin or on Twitter account at THSThePaw. We can't wait to hear what you have to say. Hey Tigers! You might have noticed some of your fellow students being recognized in the bulletin before break. Here's Connie Jolly to explain what this project is about and Harrison to give a few shout outs. Hey THS students, it's Miss Jolly here. I just wanted to take a moment and share with you a little information about a program we're kicking off. It's called THS Student Shoutouts. Us teachers wanted to create a way to kind of just honor and recognize those of you who are being awesome. Whether it's kindness, being patient, um, maybe it's even just your commitment to school. Uh, being super respectful. We just wanted to find a way to give you a shout out and say, well done. So in the coming um, months, once a month, you will see some names or maybe hear from some teachers. Um, And all it is, is a way to just encourage you and let you know we appreciate you. If you happen to see a friend get a shout out, make sure you reach out to them and just say, well done, good job. You guys, we appreciate all your hard work and we know it's tough. And um, 
it's just it's just a way for us to say thank you. Thank you for being you and thank you for being amazing. So stay on the lookout for THS student shout outs. Thanks guys. Hey, this is Harrison. I just wanted to shout out a few of my humans. First period, Davin just committed, um, really turned it around from first quarter. It's just knocking it out of the park second quarter. Bricia is just an awesome human, selfless, um, always trying to help other people, asking me about my day and what's going on. I'm just really trying to connect with humans. Uh, for second period, Andrea, I'm always keeping me honest, asking me questions, um, has awesome book recommendations. Alyssa, second period, and Nico, third period, both kill it on everything they touch. Uh, their essays are fantastic. Always wanting to know what they can do to, to make it better and just like intrinsically motivated humans. Um, so thanks for all of your work. You guys are fantastic. Hey, everyone, and welcome to Ella's album review. Today, I will be reviewing The Smiths' album, The Queen is Dead. It is one of my absolute favorite albums of all time, and I am lucky enough to have it on vinyl, so I have some nice glamour shots of that. In my opinion, this is the best Smiths' album, hands down, and um, if I was to give it a rating out of 10, I would give it maybe a 9.5 out of 10. My favorite track off the album would have to be a tie between uh, This Charming Man and Cemetery Gates. 